गेट फोटो ले लीजिए
And I reminded her and Aishwarya also remembers uh, that it was not so many years ago that uh, Abhishek also came 
and spent a lot of time with us. And it's really wonderful to have you here. Uh, so without much ado, can I request uh, Lata, Lata Mishra, Secretary of the Mumbai Press Club, to say a few words, welcome Aishwara, and give a small memento from the press club side. Uh, would you like to go to the lectern? and? A round of applause, please. Put your hands together. Round, loud applause. Okay. So, I will not take much of time. So, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It gives us a great pleasure to welcome Ms. Aishwara Rai Bachchan, one of the most influential and popular celebrities, not only in India, but throughout the world. Welcome to the annual Mumbai Movement Calendar launch that celebrates photojournalism films. Madam, it gives me a great pleasure to welcome you. The sudden photographs that you see stand out from hundreds of images we see as entries for the content. Madam, may I request you to unveil the Mumbai Movement's calendar 2019 along with our partner for the event, Z Entertainment and Press Club President Vidil Singh and committee members, please come on stage. I request uh, Gopi sir to please take over the podium. We are really in the middle of transforming Mumbai with the metro station coming up behind us. What you, I mean, I was expecting somebody would have stopped the noise, but it doesn't stop. But it's, it's like giving us the background to the transformation captured by many of our photographers also. Uh, without much ado, I would like to invite Palash Bhomik, one of the judges, to come and sort of summarize for us how and what, with what difficulty they chose these photographs. It's been a big exercise, uh, nearly 120 photographers entering, each of them giving uh, as many as two or three images each. Some of them up to eight or nine images. We had about 800 or 900 total images being entered, shortlisting all that. And the three judges coming together to choose the final 13 images which have gone into the calendar. So, uh, Palash Bhaumik, uh, he is the photo editor of Business India, a very senior journalist, a veteran. And we see his photographs every day on Facebook. New ones and amazing ones. Uh, he was just the right guy. And now he'll tell us a little bit about how the judging process took place. Thanks, Gurvi. And good evening, dear friends. I will call you Ash. Thanks for coming. And my friends here, all of you. Uh, judging uh, for this Mumbai moment, it is uh, not not a non, not a child's play. All I can tell you that uh, it was a bit tough because 
fortunately or unfortunately uh, i'm one of you so if i have to cut anyone uh, i was sorry but i have to do it because that is the way the uh, judge does actually so 821 pictures shot by some 100 or photographers uh, very passionately and i being a photographer i know how much effort it goes to shoot a good picture and they all are actually i would say not all to be very frank most of them were very very good pictures and it was difficult but fortunately we found a very uh, unique way of <coughs> sorry screening the pictures first round second round third round and we were three three judges it was not me only so we try to see that whether it matches it doesn't matches then we came to a particular uh, decision that we thought that let's pick up first 40 best picture that we had so all of us actually chose 40 pictures then we slowly came down we decided that let's give you give you an example 10 pictures of the rain monsoon deluge bombay suffering in the rain so what could be the best picture so this time around this time around i thought that you know instead of showing thousands of umbrellas that we have done in the past why not to pick up a very humanitarian photograph a father holding his son whose leg is injured amputated i guess and there was no ambulance you can see as uh, what what the picture does actually it tells a story it doesn't have to be very dramatic all the time but a simple picture can bring a lot of lot of human story behind it and it had that father was really struggling to get through to wade through this uh west deep water uh, his son on his shoulder so that is the kind of picture we thought that uh was appropriate for monsoon is rough showing umbrellas and a uh, lot of other and it's not measured actually it's not measured remember it's a human effort it is a story of a father and a son and it was a, it was a, it was a picture shot i'm sure the photographer didn't want to make it for mumbai moments but it came through it showed the spirit of mumbai or the people in mumbai so that kind of picture we thought uh, this time it was needed because we had in the past we have seen that ganpati uh, immersion pictures there are thousands and lakhs of people walking we all covered all that in the past this time around we thought this big city we can we can uh, hear this noise now kotan kot it is being upgraded it is upgrading so there why we saw this chawl which is there still now there is a chawl and none don't be too surprised maybe in near future the chawl will go and you could see the human spirit in there also it is not that ocean of people dancing and making huge uh, jamboree of uh, tama or uh, tasha and band party and stuff like that a uh, gulal and all that or uh, immersing the uh, idol in the sea it it was not that it was a simple picture that they were trying to maneuver the huge idol in that small passage between this this chawl the little lane alley i found that was very very interesting so that is how this time around we thought that let us not take all dramatic pictures all the all the time we did but we should take the pictures which will remind us the year that is passed by and and i'm sure you will all appreciate uh, that it was done pretty well 
and and I'm sure uh, I'm sure you'll all appreciate that. I thank all the participants once again and the winners, all my brothers. Uh, unfortunately, there is no sister. I wish she had was a female photographer, but nevertheless, we hello, expect hello. that maybe in future. I thank you all again. I thank Ash and all my friends at the A's. Good night. <laughs>